It's time to add some excitement to your daily bartending routine. I will be using this small scoop, check out link in the description. <laughs> to repeat all the tricks, you actually need to learn basically two moves. How to do ice around the world, so it's this movement. And the second one is even easier when you just uh, hold shaker with your middle finger and thumb like this and do this rotation. I already showed it to you in many, many tutorials, so it should be really easy. And you see, you, you take it, top, one, two. And there's a big difference between these two moves. So you see, if you actually put, uh, like let's say, one scoop of ice into the shaker, you will be able to move it like this. So you see with only fingers, but if you move pretty much the same amount of ice, you need to make your movements much wider. So this is called the ice around the world where you, your elbow is working. So you see, and it goes like this, one, two, much, much bigger. Because if you will be doing only with two fingers, you lose few pieces of ice. One more time, you see the difference? One and two. For both glass and shaker, I use a reverse grip, you see? This is how I will be holding it, always this way. If you take it, this is the reverse grip, and you bring it here. Uh, let's go with the first move. Just practice with the empty shaker, and you just take it, reverse grip, movement, and place it on top of the bar. One scoop of ice, and bring it here. I wouldn't recommend to put more than one scoop of ice. Next move, it's almost the same, but it's actually even easier. You just put um, ice into the shaker, and then instead of just doing this rotation, you keep holding a uh, scoop inside, and then you just try to practice this movement, like this. So, one, rotation, two, separate, see, really slow, one, two. You can even practice back and forth, one, two. See, it's a full control. After putting ice into the shaker, make sure that bottom always uh, facing down, like this, you see? One, two. You shouldn't move it, like for example, like this, because you, you might lose a few pieces. See, it's a big difference. One, two. For next trick, we're gonna use left and right hand, so it will be exactly the same like first move, but we'll just uh, put an ice, bring it here, reverse grip again, do half rotation, and place it on top of the bar. So, one, two, three. Next one will be slightly harder, but I promise you, you'll be able to do it in just two minutes. It's exactly the same movement where you do one, two, but now, instead of just bringing it here, you kind of need to place it inside the uh, scoop. So, you see the movement? And there will be part two. So now, again, empty shaker, you just try to practice this move. Uh, after you place it into the scoop, hold it straight and then uh, lift it up a little bit higher so and try to do this one, this movement. One, two, it just, just kind of naturally should fall into your left hand. Uh, you don't have to do throw or anything, it's just, just, just like this, look. One, two, and try to do it sideways instead of hold it straight. You can just move it a little bit on the side and it looks better. To do this second part clean, uh, try to put maybe not completely full scoop of ice, but uh, I'd say I put like this. One, two, three and you place it on top of the bar. But if you put few extra pieces, so sometimes you see like few of them might come out, doesn't look good, so try to just have only one scoop. If you guys enjoy watching my videos, please don't forget to give me a big like, uh, consider subscribing, and I will see you next week with a pretty awesome video.